Well, hello, hello, and welcome to the Mediocre Arknights Operator Guide featuring Glaucus. The not sniper, drone hunting, electro shock waving, sea slug slugging her crowd control all over the battlefield. Well, not really, her attack range isn't global. Why, why am I like this? You go for an innuendo, and this is what comes out. The D-Cell Binder. If you use Orchid at any point, you've more or less got the gist of it. Straightforward range briefly slows enemies on hit. That's it, next segment. Countermeasure Device. Increases Glaucus' damage against drone enemies and changes up her targeting priority to attack drones first. Cool Talent. Takes the attack aerial enemies first part of Marksman Snipers and sort of applies it to drones and for only drones. Not to be confused with every other airborne enemy, the drone part of the talent's description quite literally means foes that are of the mechanical drone variety. As of the making of this video, there are only two operators that care about this technicality, being Aren and Glaucus herself. Also, if you want even more drone damage, her module is available for you to use. Skill 1 is called Binary Reload, raises attack way up to 50% and hits two enemies each attack for up to 25 seconds. Not the worst skill in the world, it's not every day you get multi-targeting, and since every attack slows due to her subclass, it's more than the usual do more damage stick. An option for sure. The Sea Slug's second skill, Counter EMP, drops a very wide area of effect attack. I mean, look at that range. The Shockwave binds all enemies hit or stunned instead if they are drones, both for up to 6 seconds. First off, I want to stress that massive range once again, it's chonky. Second off, 6 seconds is one of the longest crowd control debuffs I've ever seen in this entire game, and at only a 30 SP cost. You might think that 30 SP is long for what you're getting, and sure, 30 is long-ish. But treat it as a 24 SP skill, because given you are using skill 2 well enough, the enemy, especially melee ones, aren't really going anywhere for those 6 seconds. Of course, the skill can be recharged quicker with SP generators like Telopsis, which by the way highly recommend for more bindings. Basic tip with Glaucus? Sort of a PSA, Glaucus is not a drone killing supporter. Not a drone killing supporter. Well, she sort of is, but think about her instead as a supporter that happens to do more damage against drones. For many, though not every map containing drones, Glaucus alone is not enough to take care of everything. Oftentimes, your usual marksman snipers do more on the damage end than our sea slug. Don't solely judge her value on how much she can contribute against drones, because some people forget the fact that all that crowd control she has applies to ground enemies as well. As mentioned, 6 seconds of stalling enemies buys time for a lot of things. One of the most common things you will stall against are strong enemies completely wrecking your front line. Keep in mind that binding enemies while they're being blocked doesn't change much since it only stops movement and not attacks. So, should you build Glaucus? If you value crowd control, the 6 second bind sells that idea pretty hard. If you value a drone destroyer, uh, depending on the map, but probably bring other operators for the job. If you value stalling, yes, and it's extra effective against melee enemies. If you like the blue Glaucus, big yes, look at how cute these little buggers are. And based on how it looks, it's probably poisonous to an extent. Finally, here are Glaucus' stats, potentials, trust bonuses, base skill, and my E264M3 not sniper sort of drone hunting sea slug slugging her crack control all over the battlefield. Wink wink. Yeah, it doesn't really work as an innuendo, does it? And that was the Glaucus Operator Guide. Thank you for watching, generic outro stuff, enjoy the rest of your day.